Very good evening to you. My name is Nick Gillingham. I'm delighted to bring you the first final session of swimming here at the Aquatic Centre. First up is the men's 100 metres backstroke S6 final. We have already seen five world records this morning in the heats in qualification for the finals this evening and four Paralympic records. First up, the 100 metres backstroke and in the name of Plotnikov, the world record holder, he will be wanting to take the challenge forwards, fastest qualifier, Jay in four from China. Jay, 24 years of age, right next door to his teammate and rival, Zheng, 21 years of age. Samenenko went well to qualify in lane three, 25-year-old Ukrainian swimmer. In the aquatic centre, really hotting up this morning. Capacity crowd. And here we have the first competitors leaving the ready room. Joda from Iraq will go in lane one. Michaelis in lane two for Germany. Thirty-one years of age, a German competitor. But here, Semenenko, 25-year-old from the Ukraine, big name in Paralympic swimming, had a great European Championships last year. Jay looking very confident, goes in for the fastest qualifier. Zheng goes in five, also for China. Iwano from Germany, 27 years of age, goes in lane number six. Hannah Pell goes in seven for Australia, just 18 years of age. Matthew Hannah Pell there. And his teammate from Australia, 21-year-old Rind goes in lane number eight. Aaron Rind there for Australia. Completes the lineup of one to eight. Jay qualified in 1.14 this morning, 1.14.98. Second and a half faster than Zheng. Semenenko also swam inside 80 seconds. He won 18.24 for Semenenko. Zheng won 16.37, but Jay a very, very fast. 1.14.98 qualify in lane four. Not much separating the swimmers there on the reaction off the starting blocks. Coming up in the lead though, in lane number five is Zheng from China. Interesting technique here, changing between a dolphin butterfly leg motion where they're undulating through the whole body and then stepping into a regular kick, an alternating kick with the left leg and right leg, there's a dolphin kick and a tight tuck around the wall, dolphin kicking again underwater. But interesting technique there, stopping between a more modern motion here, the undulating dolphin motion, the fly kick, fastest way to move in the water is underwater, but of course these swimmers on the surface are only allowed to go to 15 metres in this race, really hotting up now. Semenenko, Jay, Zheng, 
They're inside the final 15 metres. And this is where the medals are really going to be sought. Can the swimmers hold it together? Inside the final five, it's going to be Zhang for China. Jay takes the silver. Semenenko the bronze. 113.56. A new Paralympic record, a new world record. Smashes that off Plotinkov of Russia. A record set in the year 2004. And he just realised he'd have to wait for the official time, though. But 113.56 is posted on the electronic scoreboard. That'd be 43 one hundredths of a second inside what was the old world record. Plotnikov from Russia. Eight years old, that record. And there's Zheng turning nearest to us. One swimmer up was Jay, very close on the turn. But the mix really happened about 15, 20 metres out. One happy young man, he is the gold medalist. And there's the official result. Teo Zheng from China, the new world record holder and the Paralympic gold medalist in the men's 100 minutes backstroke, S6. Taking applause from the crowd.